I was going to play an excerpt of Jeremy Cecile Kira's presentation. Now, a little bit about Jeremy. He was featured on MTV's real life episode, I Have Autism. He has autism and nonverbal, so he will communicate through his voice device. Now, when you hear him, it's in his own words, which he wrote for this presentation. Now, one thing I like most about this interview is Jeremy shares with us his experiences with autism treatments and he offers his advice for parents of other children with autism. You will hear his mother, Chantel Cecile Kira, who has written five books on autism, introduce him. Okay, I'll see you after the interview. And now I'm going to change over to uh, Jeremy's second part of the presentation. And this is his uh, presentation that he wrote for a conference. And so I'm now going to uh, put the phone onto his small uh, voice output machine, his little tiny computer. And uh, I've done a test run, so this should work. And you will see the screens will show you what he is saying. So if you have difficulty hearing, you can see. Hi, my name is Jeremy. I have autism, which means I can't talk or control my body most of the time. I'm 20 years old and have come a long way. The thoughts and ideas in this presentation are all mine, as I type them on my letterboard or light writer. One of my tutors was kind enough to help me create this PowerPoint. I hope this presentation makes you think you can't do anything. Here is my story. My experiences. That might help you. The first time I did ABA I was five years old. I hated the repetition, but overall it was good for me. I stopped ABA around nine years old and didn't view my experience with the TAS positive until I was 19. Parents, don't give up on ABA. It's helping your kid whether you see it or not. Kids, don't tune it out. Let in as much as you can. The repetition is annoying, but it will make you better in the long run. My way of viewing the world is no different from anyone else, but because I physically see differently, and I'm aware of it, I have to concentrate more on what's going on to see from a more normal perspective. If I don't concentrate, everything going on seems surreal. I want to be more normal so viewing the world comes more naturally to me. Parents, be patient. Your child may really not see things the way you do. <coughs> Your child may see things exactly the same as you but can't get the words out yet. Kids, just try to concentrate on one thing, whether it's blinking lights or a toy. This will help you pay attention. Hey, I hope you liked that interview. Uh, this is just a sampling of what you're going to hear when we release the remaining 45 minutes of this interview in our conference materials. What you're also going to hear in the full version is Chantel's advice for parents. Oh, I almost forgot. Tomorrow I have a real treat for you. I'm going to send you a video on what we're going to be releasing and when. You're going to know exactly when we're going to release the materials. I have a pretty good idea of when things are going to come out. And also, I have a special bonus that I want to talk to you about that is going to accompany all the conference materials. So I want you to tune in then tomorrow when I send out the, hopefully will be the next to the last video here uh, as we get closer to, re to the release date here. And I will let you know what that release date is tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you then.